This is Dennis from Incentisoft. Today we're looking at Barnyard Mahjong. When we begin, we can choose from four different groups, each one with 42 different puzzles. In Barnyard Mahjong, instead of Chinese characters and symbols, we have tiles with farm images and familiar sounds from the farm. Watch the patterns as additional layers of tiles complete the puzzle. I'm going to show you how to choose a new puzzle. Push pause and then go back to the layout screen and choose whichever other layout you want. When looking for matches, remember that only tiles with the right or the left edge exposed can be used to make a match. I usually get a bunch of matches pretty quickly when I start a level. I think this is my favorite Mahjong game because I can match up farm animals and produce much better than I can match up Chinese characters and symbols. When you don't see a match, the magnifying glass will show you one. You can use it three times during a level. The reshuffle button will usually give you a lot of new matches. Right below the reshuffle button is the redo button. So if you need to take back a move, push the redo button. Hitting the question mark brings up the help screen. Here we find that any two dogs or any two cats will make a match. Since I reshuffled, now I see a bunch of new matches. Besides the fact that if you're hung up, reshuffling can get you going again, the other really cool thing about it is that the clock stops when you reshuffle. If you prefer the classic Mahjong tile set with the Chinese characters, be sure to check out Incentisoft's Mahjong Deluxe. It has the classic tile set, a couple of different music selections, and your choice of puzzle backgrounds. Now I'm going to hit pause and show you the options in the pause menu. With these two buttons you can turn off the music or the sound effects. If you'd rather only see your time when you complete a level, you can turn the clock off. To restart the level, push this button. Use the arrow key to continue. While paused, you can go back and select another level, or you can go back to the home screen. Once you've played every level, this button on the home screen lets you reset all your scores. In the lower right is the info button. The button by my left thumb will take you to Incentisoft in the App Store, where you can leave a review or see the other games we have to offer. In the upper left corner are the Facebook and Twitter buttons, so you can share our games with your friends. Be sure to visit our website, Incentisoft.com.